All right. Let's see what this is about. It's not enough. It's not enough. And I love that. I gotta give you guys. It's the third one. Here we go. You'd have to really give me the position to yay and do what I'm thinking, or I'm gonna have to do what I'm thinking somewhere else. Because one thing I've learned from Virgil, if something's killing you, it's actually killing you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we canceled the pre-order of the blue jacket. That's insane. I got three million emails over from Adidas, and we didn't use them. That's insane. That's insane. We sold 14 million hoodies at $80 with no logo on it off of one commercial and never ran the commercial again. That's insane. Pierre, we only win one sample set. Damn, the video cuts out there. Enough. It's not enough. So, this is Kanye apparently telling off Gap employees. Um, because of the cancellation of something he did. Um, the video was deleted, but he put this out on Instagram where he posts and deletes all the time. Gap having meetings about me without me. Adidas releasing old shoes and coloring my shoes like I'm dead. Me not having a say on where my sh where my children go to school. Call me whatever names you want. If you don't understand why I will not back down on my businesses, my brands, and my children, then you're the ones who are crazy. Obviously, the Virgil reference was Virgil Abloh. And he thought it was insane when the brand allegedly canceled pre-orders of his blue round jackets and never did a fashion show. So look, before we all start going like being team Kanye or not, not I'm not going to say team gap like not team Kanye let's be clear about something some of the merch that he put out there was astronomically priced for a store like gap like I remember some of the clothes he put out was like $145 Everyone remembers when he had like the trash can style approach to selling his clothes. But some of the stuff in there, like a shirt was like $70. A hat was like $75 or $80. And a hoodie was like $145 plus. So here it is. There you go. I like I didn't understand it because Do you want people who are going to Gap, which let's be real, is in the category of like a preppier version of Forever 21. You're going to ask people to spend over $130 on like one piece? I find that odd. The approach was whatever. I don't really care. Art is art. What I did find interesting was this like approach that some critics had which was why do a lot of influencers and artists make light of like the correlation between art and homelessness because this is what a homeless person does I don't think I necessarily 